Well, I have it right now. Migraine is so much more than just a terribly disabling headache. I couldn't feel my hand. I lose language. I don't see anything except for shapes all day long. My daughter, Emma, came to me one day and told me she couldn't see. That's it. She just couldn't see. The next time it happened, it came with vomiting and a headache. She was desperate, and I was uninformed. So we took the first recommendation we got. I had a pretty bad experience. He said, I can give you a drug that will make you fat and bald, or I can give you a drug that will make you thin and stupid. And I said, thin and stupid, please. We do not have good medical treatment for people who have chronic forms of the disorder. If I can cure your migraine, I'm going to get the Nobel Prize. That's how big that is. By setting out to help my daughter, it seemed I'd stumbled into an entire world of hidden suffering. Freud had it. Thomas Jefferson, with six solid weeks of headaches, before the six solid weeks where he wrote the Declaration of Independence. Wayne Wade out with a migraine. Well, it's a big struggle. My vision goes. Of course, you get the pounding headaches, the vomiting. The common refrain for people who have migraine is, no, no, no. It's not just a headache. I think we need to take that actually a step further and say it, it a actually is not headache at all. And I don't see the F anymore. 